Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. Now, this video I've been trying to do for some time. I actually did it before, but the recording came out, sort of the sound was all messed up, so I had to sort of re-record it again. Um, but yeah, this is a video where basically I want to talk about the BOP on the set of course of Competizione. Now, if you haven't heard, there is supposed to be a new update coming to ACC very soon. Um, I'm not too sure what we're going to be getting. In, inside of that update but I am hopeful of a brand new BOP and sort of just actually getting down to the nitty gritty and trying to sort this BOP out for once and for all because for me personally I don't feel like the BOP has been right probably since maybe the second year of the game um, because I remember back in the day man you could win a race in an Audi, in a Lambo, in a Lexus, um, in a Bentley there was the Ferrari was pretty quick. You could you could win a race in sort of four or five cars, the Porsche. And, I, you know, I kind of feel like now we've sort of gone away from that. Now we're sort of stuck down to really maybe three cars, maybe four, depending on the variant of the track. But maximum, most of the time, you are sort of just looking at the Honda and the Porsche around the majority of a lot of the tracks. Um, and it gets a bit jarring, man, especially when you're doing leagues and everybody literally just signs up wherever the op car is everybody just signs up in it and it gets real boring real quick and i just feel like with you know um with kunos maybe they need to introduce something where you know we we end up getting like weekly updates man because sometimes we get left stuck with a bad bop for way 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 too long um i remember when the, the mclaren the mclaren which i'm actually using in this video i don't normally drive the mclaren but I thought I'd give it a try um, in LFM last week and I had a pretty good race. This race actually had to start from the pit lane because I, I didn't press drive in time. So go figure. But yeah, pit lane start and, you know, it was a pretty fun car to drive. But back to my point, um, I feel like we do have these instances in ACC where we get stuck with a bad BOP for like a solid six months or even a year sometimes. It's just like, well, can we not just get, you know updates on a weekly basis like you'd see on other games is it really that difficult to tweak the balance of the cars um because I, I, you know i remember a stage where we went with the uh the bmw when the game first came out the bmw m6 had this insane acceleration glitch and it didn't last that long they patched it pretty quickly and um sort of you know those are sort of things i'm asking for if, if a car is just blatantly too quick or doesn't have any competition then it, it should sort of be reined in a little bit we had a good period where the bentley was insane in the race on race pace um that took a little bit longer to patch but that also got patched as well um then we had the era of the porsche which was just the porsche was so fast it was like light years ahead of any other car you just couldn't get near it i remember doing aor and literally 80 percent of the field was in a porsche and you just you couldn't do anything they were the ports are just so much quicker and i feel like now we're kind of seeing that with the honda and i don't like obviously um before the honda wasn't really a used car should i say but you know we we, we all wanted to see improvements in cars like the honda and stuff but don't do it to a point where it's just you know the number one car pretty much everywhere you know it doesn't have much competition because i feel like it makes races boring especially if you're racing at a higher level to be honest most of the fast guys are going to choose the fastest cars okay so when you're in the top tier of any league or you're towards the front of the grid let's say you're within sort of a second or around about a second of the fastest guys on the game you're going to get into the lobbies where you know you you're going up against the tryhards you know you're going up against the pros and they don't they don't pick cars just for fun they pick cars to win because at that point everyone is super competitive and sometimes you just don't get the diversity on the grid man you literally just get three or four cars and that's maximum and the majority of those cars will be whatever the fastest car is at that time that's what everybody will be in you know and again with a lot of these guys driving for a different esports team some of these guys are bound to cars that literally have you know a five percent chance on winning races like how can that be i feel like if we're going into these sro competitions and whatever else and they're having to create their custom bop just to make the game level shows you that the bop is not quite correct now 
I know there's been comments made and I know uh, like Aris has said stuff like the BOP's fine and stuff like that and obviously no disrespect to those guys because they, they created the game and whatnot but I feel like if you are not sort of how can I say this without sounding like a bit of a knob um, if you're not sort of you know in the in the upper echelons of, of, of pace on the game then really you're not going to really see the difference in the BOP if you're two seconds two and a half seconds off the pace it doesn't matter what car you drive you know um, you're probably not getting everything out of that car so you're not going to notice the difference in you know the difference in pace between that car and another car so to speak um, but if you if you are sort of like right towards the front or you're in the top one percent then you definitely notice the difference I think for me personally I was in LFM a couple of weeks ago and there was guys that I was sort of would be like five, six tenths quicker than. This is around, was it around Kota? I think it might have been around Kota. There was guys, we'd, we'd be in the same car. No, it was Laguna Seca actually. Around Laguna Seca, there was guys that I was a sort of five, six tenths quicker than. Every time um, we jumped in the lobby, five, six tenths quicker. And then they jumped in the Honda and instantly they were doing my times and quicker. And I was in the Aston Martin. It's like, well... I've seen these guys for the past three days. I've seen where their pace is at, and then they jumped in a, jumped in one car, and it's literally given them six or seven temps. It's like, how can that, how can that be? You know, these cars should be within a few temps of each other, and I don't know whether the answer is to create a, a their own sort of custom BOP, but over a whole calendar, the the cars need to be closer because at the moment, over a whole calendar. There's not many cars that are living with with the uh, with the Honda at the moment, which is you know, I get I get it. you want to you know you want to boost the car up, but it should have competition. There should be four or five cars near the front, and that way people can just drive what they want to drive, what they like to drive, and not be forced into well, if I want to be able to compete, then I have to drive this because I just feel like that mentality is kind of it's wrong, it's boring. It doesn't look as good when you've just got sort of 12 Hondas at the front of the field. Man, there's... I did watch parties for AOR last season and there was instances where, you know, guys like Dare McCormack, who probably is, if not the fastest guy in the game, definitely the top one of the top three fastest guys on ACC. And there's times where he's getting destroyed like 20 seconds by someone else in, in, in a Honda just because they're in a Honda. It's like, Really? Should should that really be the difference in, in an hour long race, sixty minutes, and he's losing twenty plus seconds? I, personally, me personally, I don't feel like we should see that type of difference in terms of car performance. You know, if it was all driver ability, then, then fair enough. Guys who are really quick, they're going to destroy the majority of people. Okay, but if you are, if two guys are really close in ability, everyone's super fast. You probably shouldn't really see them gaps unless there's some sort of incident. If there's not an incident, you shouldn't see one guy winning by 20 plus seconds, you know? It's, it's just, I don't know, man. I feel like stuff can be done to improve it. And I feel like sometimes I know these game developers, they're going to have an ego because this, this game is like their, their child almost, okay? You don't want anyone to speak badly about their child. And I definitely get that. I get where their mindset comes from, especially because... You know, guys like Aris and, and Panka, they actually play the game. So, you know, having any sort of criticism, obviously, it's going to feel a little bit like a burn, so to speak. But for me, speaking for me, personally, I love the game. I've always loved the game. And um, it's probably my favorite sim game of all time. So anything I say is definitely from a place of positive criticism, you know. And um, I just feel like sometimes they should, you know, take the take a little bit of the, the bruised ego out of it and to sit back and look at these leagues like AOR which doesn't have a custom BOP and it allows you know the best drivers on the game to race each other with no BOP whatsoever and then you get to see the real difference in the cars because you're you're driving with you're, you're racing with guys who can get everything out of a, a, a car so to speak so if you if Nils Naldrix is in their BMW and McCormack's in a Porsche and then you've got Luke Whitehead in a Honda or, or, or Tinko in a Honda and then Tinko and Luke are departing the scene and they're 20 seconds down the road. That tells you your BOP for this track is definitely not correct. <laughs> okay, it should 
be a lot closer than that you know if it's like five or six seconds that's fair enough that's maybe a tenth or so a lap over an hour long distance which these guys are you know an hour to these guys is nothing this is light work okay so to see a gap of that size is kind of crazy man we saw that at monza like even the, the the amg couldn't even compete with the hondas at monza it's like what so for me personally i, I don't see why we don't have constantly tinkering with the bop to try and get it right and then once we get it in a place where you know most cars are competitive you can actually you know choose a car that's completely different from what other people may want to drive you might want to choose a lexus or a bentley but the car is still within two or three temps then that, that's fine you know on race paces between two or three temps that that's fine not a problem but when we start getting these half a second six temps quick ice there's literally no point racing and sometimes it, it can get disheartening to the point where you just don't you can't even be bothered to race because you already know your car stands zero chance <laughs> of even having a good result especially if 80 percent of the grid if you've got a grid of 40 drivers and at least 37 of them or 30 of them are in a Honda, then you already know you're literally going to be lucky to get inside the top 30. <laughs> okay, and then once you're racing for 31st, 32nd position, the love is just not there anymore. You know, you want to at least feel like you have a, a chance of getting to the top 10. Even if you know the guys in the top 10 are better drivers, you at least know, well, he just outperformed me. He's a better driver or he was a better driver today. Not that he's just in a faster car and there's nothing i can do about it there's certain things from the real world that we don't always need in sim racing and i feel like that is one of them <laughs> okay i feel like we should focus on making the cars a little closer and that way you know people can drive the cars they want and not the cars they're forced to in the real world you know we 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 get to see seasons like an f1 where mercedes have been dominant or red bull have been dominant and let's be honest, no matter who your favourite driver is, it is boring. When you watch a season where one car is just way quicker than the others, it's boring. Now, it's not as bad in sim racing because, of course, everyone can literally just pick the same car. But shouldn't be forced to do that is my point, you know? Um, I, why, why, why can't we have an AMG super quick, an Audi super quick? The Honda is good already. The Porsche is good already. And then you, you add to that the BMW super quick, the Ferrari super quick, the Lambo's got a chance, you know? A few tracks, you got the Aston, the Lexus, like, stuff like that. When was the last time you see someone win a race in a, a Lexus or an Aston? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, you just generally don't see it, man. Outside of two or three cars, I don't think in the past few months I've seen anybody win a race apart from a Honda, Ferrari or a Porsche. I haven't seen any other car win a race. You know um and that that's just it that's that's the problem for the most part though it's been honda domination pretty much everywhere <laughs> okay as i said i did the i did the watch parties um for aor and it was literally just waiting for the hondas to get off and just destroy it you know and it's like wow we definitely need to look at this and i feel like kuno should look into bop more often if it's not working if it hasn't worked for a couple for a couple of weeks change it don't wait for another big update and we gotta sort of wait for six months it's it's, it's too long and it, it sometimes it it kind of spoils it can spoil the race especially if it's a race that i'm watching or a sro race or whatever it kind of just i know they 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 manipulate stuff of doing their custom bop but they shouldn't actually have to do that you know they shouldn't have to to keep putting custom BOPs in it just because one car is just way too quick and if that's happening that already tells you that there's something wrong with the BOP you know and I, I generally don't know where the BOP comes from I don't know whether it's from real life data or whatever but if it is uh, I, I'm yet to see the Honda destroy you know all these tracks so I'm, I'm at this point I'm genuinely confused genuinely why the honda's so super strong um even the porsche there's certain tracks that the porsche is obviously very quick but on its better tracks it's not even close 
You know, the only the only car that's close to the Porsche around Laguna is the Honda. You know what I mean? There's literally tracks where the Porsche is just you, you can't do anything about it. You get to the last sector at Kota and you realise the Porsche is in a league of one. <laughs> like there's nothing else is coming close in that last sector. So um Yeah, I hope it's something that they sort out. I know there's definitely a new update coming. And I know this comes off as as a bit of a rant, but I just feel like it's true because we've had instances like for instance where I remember when the McLaren was super strong at Silverstone and they did nothing literally for a whole year and a bit and left that car at Silverstone so much faster than anything else it was pointless and how can you leave that to be for a year how can you leave that for that long there's enough races there's enough people at Kuno's who watch the races who participate to see that wow that car's a bit too fast around that track there's enough evidence the evidence is everywhere you know it's not hard to, to figure out and plus there's tons of people that'll be willing to test there's tons of esports drivers that'll be willing to test i know you can't you know base everything off of the esports drivers obviously the game is for the general consumer maybe the esports drivers or the top one percent are only one percent of the people that play the game but that doesn't mean that it should or need to lack a little bit of consistency and balance as i said if you're probably not able to get within two or three seconds of the fastest guys you might not even know what i'm talking about you might not even notice any of this stuff but um there's no harm in actually having cars much closer together in in, a, in ability you know and i guarantee you you'll see much more diverse grids much more diverse grids you wouldn't see people right now only drive the honda because it's super fast before the honda was literally probably the outright fastest car in the game nobody was in this car nobody <laughs> no one cared about the honda okay now you do get some guys who really love the lambo who you know whatever happens they'll be in a lambo and I, I respect that because i feel like the lambo has been sort of off and on for the most part it hasn't really been a contender um unless you're someone crazy like jordan sherratt who just gets insane times but even then when it comes to racing against guys who are a lot closer to his ability um the lambo tends to fall back a bit and that's not because Shera is a, a weaker driver it's just the fact that that it's just it's just a car you know and that's fine you're, you're gonna get cars that have different strengths and weaknesses but it has to be said there's only a select amount of tracks where the lambo could even get anywhere near close for them for the main part in in racing conditions you know, 70% of the tracks the Lambo can't get near the Porsches and the Hondas if he was to, you know, take away BOP and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it, for me, it needs fixing, man. It just needs fixing that. I wish that this happened a long time ago. We've gone through periods of having Porsche domination. We went through a period where the, the Lexus was ridiculously quick in the rain. We went through periods of even the AMG, when the AMG was quick for a bit in Hassini's hands has to be said Hassini was definitely a bit of a monster in that car um now we've got the Honda we've had the McLaren you know we had the Bentley and some of these things got patched quick but as I said there's sometimes like the McLaren was dominant for a long long time man a seriously long time it was just like bro they need to actually like like cut cut the bullshit now okay the McLaren is not that much quicker than every other car let's stop it now okay why have you had to wait this long you know for, for the car to get patched i don't i don't get it you know so um hopefully it's just it's something that we can see in this next patch i'm hoping the bop is changed and just you know made more of a level playing field i really do hope so because i feel like it makes things a lot more fun it's more entertaining to watch when you've got cars with different strengths one car might be a bit faster in the corners the other car faster down the straight and that, that you know the racing actually complements each other not a car that's half a second down the road and as soon as they get out in the lead they just completely and utterly clear off and then by the end they've winning the race by 20 plus seconds it's like come on bro there's, there's too many good guys in here to, to see that happen for one and and it's, it's boring you know it's, it's boring and i don't feel like that's the way how a thing should be especially not in a game where you can control you know how extensive the gaps are between cars 
and you know for me definitely there's been a problem in BOP for a long time on ACC for a long time and it's something they need to look into something that needs to be sort of like Call of Duty if, if Call of Duty do something and something that's not quite right in the game they just patch it bro you know what I mean they just patch it they just keep tinkering with that BOP just to get it spot on why, why not you know it's not gonna hurt anybody and if it does at the end of the day you're doing it for the greater good so you know it is what it is man like that's that's what i'd prefer to see you know i would prefer to see a game where they're constantly tinkering with bop getting the balance right you know there's how many tracks on the game how many different cars they can't we cannot keep going to tracks like laguna you know where two cars are just way quicker than anything else we can't have tracks like that anymore me personally you know we went again to monza and the 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 honda was just way quicker than anything else you know um we can't i don't see how we can sustain that sort of because this game got to survive till when 2024 sheesh why why not try and get things right now we can have an absolutely banging year with great bop and you know the extra new content that comes to the game yeah I feel like that, that's, you know, that should be the goal. That should be the aim, man. Let's, let's get this BOP tightened up a little bit. And then we won't need custom BOP. We wouldn't need any of that stuff. We'd just be able to just run the game nice and easy. Because the thing about custom BOP is sometimes when you want to practice, if, you, if you're doing a race that has custom BOP in it and you can't get into a practice session for whatever reason, you can't even simulate what it's like driving with that extra weight. So that gives you a disadvantage to guys who may not have a BOP for that Pacific weekend or, or whatever it may be, you know? So, um, yeah, man, it's just it's just the way I've been feeling for a while. Um, as I said, this video is supposed to come out a few weeks back, but I recorded it and the car sound was so loud you could barely hear me talking. So I had to get back to it and re-record it all over again. Um, annoying, but yes, we, we had to get down with it, man. You guys tell me what you think they should do with the BOP on ACC. Oh, I would like to hear it. Um, what's your opinion on, on, on the cars and, you know, what cars are doing too much? What cars need to be elevated? What cars need to be brought into into sort of the, the main pack of the battle? Because, as I said, there's a lot of cars and I feel like the majority of them should be in the mix. Because I believe it will be something extra that brings an extra element to watching the races participating in races and stuff like that it's one, of the, it's one of the reasons why i do like paul ricard because in paul ricard i feel like you've got a lot of cars that are able to do like pretty quick lap times and people don't like the track but it always produces good racing because of that fact that there are so many different cars you can use to get like pretty fast times you know and that's that's what i think really makes that track stand out for me for racing, Paul Ricard is the best track on the game. And it's because there's a lot of cars that are close. A lot of cars that are close. And you throughout the lap, you can see the different strengths and weaknesses of each of those cars. And that's what, for me, produces some of the racing that we get at Paul Ricard. And then there's other tracks where it's just not even close. For instance, you go to Spa and like the Ferrari. Insanely fast in a straight line. And then someone jumps in a Porsche and you're literally standing still on the straight it's like this isn't even it's it doesn't even make sense bro <laughs> how can one car be that much faster down the straight you know and then you know risky the, the spa is probably one of the ferrari's best tracks but you know it just it doesn't make sense to have that big a difference you know that big a difference it's it's kind of crazy I hope it's something that they get sorted, man. Um, as you can see now, I'm actually on the, the back straight. Did I get this guy? I can't remember if I, if I managed to get this guy in the end. But remember, I started from the pit lane in this race. And yeah, it was just, I was overtaking absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. Every corner I was trying it. I didn't care. But um, like this, for instance, I've got a, a massive sit stream. But I feel like the, the balance is just about right. I've literally taken me towards the end of the straight to get side by side with this guy you know and i feel like you know these sort these sorts of fights it's sort of you know we're headed in the right direction the right balance and um i really feel like 
if we could get this around most tracks and not just uh, one track here and there and stuff like that if we got this sort of close quarter sort of battling on most tracks if we got the BRP as close as it is around Paul Ricard I feel like the game would just be taken to another level as I said it is my favorite game my favorite sim racer game of all time so um definitely no hate or bad criticism it's, it's all from a positive place just just wanting the best for the game man but um apart from that guys let me know in the comment section what you think should be done and i will see you guys later cryptic tmg peace